Good morning, everybody. Today is going to be sort of a special day. I haven't had a barbecue in I don't know how many years. Uh, you know, with the real briquettes. Um, not your propane type. This is uh, your briquette type. So we're going to go out today on the beach here and um, make a nice steak, potatoes, and onions, and corn. This should be wonderful. Like I said, I haven't had a barbecue in a long time. It's kind of a special treat for me. Um, one other thing is I'm going to need your help with something. Uh, I'll put it at the end of the video. Um, <clears throat> I have a favor to ask uh, all my subscribers. Anyone that's interested in helping me uh, can put the comment below. What I've got here is a really small portable barbecue. Uh, just enough to do up a steak or something. And that's what I'm going to do tonight. So let's set this thing up and see how big it really is. <laughs> Not too many instructions. <laughs> okay. to put your steak on. I wanted to do potatoes and corn. So I think if I do the potatoes first, hey, I guess I can throw this away now. Probably good for a one-time use. <clears throat> okay, we're getting everything ready here for barbecue tonight. Corn, potatoes, steak, and our little one-time barbecue thing here. And we got coals out in the back. So let's go to the table, get this all set up, and see if she'll go. All right, let's see if we can get this thing going. See how this works. I hope she's going to be good. We'll let it go here for a bit, see if we can get them coals going. potatoes on. Those are going to take the longest, so fantastic. You know what? I really don't know how long it's been since I had a barbecue, a real barbecue. 
probably years. This is gonna taste great. The corn. Got some water for standby. It's just sitting on the table. It looks like it's been burnt through already. So I put it right on the same spot so I don't make another burn spot. But anyways, there's the potatoes. I'm gonna need some gloves or something so I can pick this thing up and turn it over, which I do have. So I'll go get those. Okay, I'm thinking the corn is done. Potatoes I think are done too, pretty close. I've checked here. Let me just see deep inside. Onions. Oh yeah. Just a steak left. Oh, that's all that's left. A little bit of a potato. The rest of it's all gone. That was great. That was the best meal I've had in a long time. Now I think I'll just finish up my coffee and put out the coals. Oh yeah, right about now is when they're probably the best. Anyway, supper is over. So what I'm going to need help with is um, a Wi-Fi connection. I usually uh, video, well what I've been doing since I've started when I used to put out a video every single day and that was tough because I was going I was getting up early in the morning driving to the next city the next place I was going to spend the night um, get there before noon hopefully and then uh, tape a bunch of stuff whatever I want to put in my video for that day and then it would take me uh, two three hours to edit that video put everything together put music to it uh, just looking for music, especially when it's I'm using free music off the internet. Um, you can't just put any old music on there because uh, you'll get a strike against you. And my last few videos, I just said ah, to heck with it. I put music on there. I knew I was going to get a strike and and uh, uploaded it anyway. What the heck? I can't, I'm not. I can't monetize anything anyways. So it's only when you're monetized that they they don't give you the money for it. Uh, for the video so anyway I used to drive to the next city do the tape taping spend two three hours editing that video and then find a Walmart or somewhere where I could and I was staying at Walmart's all the way across Canada so finding Wi-Fi wasn't that hard difficult I was at a Walmart but it would take you know sometimes it took three hours to upload a video because you're constantly getting uh, like not kicked off but it would it would just go offline and then you'd have to reconnect and it wouldn't reconnect automatically and you'd have to reconnect it manually so you'd have to continuously be watching the computer to make sure that this was you know being connected or because I don't have data it just cost way too much money to have data in Canada on your phone and use my phone as a hotspot so Walmart was a was my only way to go and uh, now at where I am it's harder and harder to find Walmarts uh, that I can stay at and I didn't want to sit there all day long and and, uh, and down, download or upload the uh, the video so but it, usually when I get to a Walmart or all over the place in town I see um, Shaw open now if I had a Shaw account uh, or if I had any kind of account, which I just really can't afford, I, I would there would be no problem. I could just connect to Shaw wherever I go. It just seems to be Shaw's everywhere. Um, a lot more than Telus is, anyways. So um, this is what I this is what I 
what I would like is to have someone who has Shaw who is willing to either share a certain cost with me or, or just to uh, donate it to, for free um, you know and and getting data on the road you pay like if you had to get a hundred gigabytes of data on your cell phone that would be like four hundred dollars a month or more who can afford that like holy and I've been down putting out videos like once a day and then it went down to three times a week and uh, now it's one every two weeks if I can squeeze it in there so what I'd like to do is pick up my videos again and do a few more uh, put them out more often but I do need help with with uh, Wi-Fi so if any of you can can uh, help please put a comment below and we can get started with the um, we can converse back and forth and figure out what what a good way to go about it would be um, if I would love to get it for absolutely for free if I can if I can get it if anybody out there is willing to go that far um, if I have to pay f a little bit for some I'm, I'm willing to go that route but I need someone that has a Shaw account where they can connect more than one device in their home and uh, send me the password and what have you that I can get on I, lo I see a lot of van dwellers are doing that uh, just simply because the home why the home internet is a lot cheaper than getting mobile uh, internet and, and mobile data like I said I don't have any data on my phone at all I can do na uh, nationwide uh, text and talk but uh, absolutely no data so even if I have uh, Facebook and I'm uh, waiting to talk to someone or send a message I have to be on Wi-Fi somewhere in order to message back and forth. So messaging happens to work uh, no matter where I am. It's just like a regular uh, cell phone call. So, but Messenger that's with uh, Facebook, forget it. I, I can't. I have to be near Wi-Fi. So please put a comment and uh, a, a way that I can get in touch with you, and uh, we can go from there. I would I would be a much appreciated if someone could uh, give me a hand and help me out a little bit so I could uh, put out more videos and uh, obviously then the quality would be a lot better also um, so thank you all for watching and uh, appreciate any help that you can give me thank you